Hello, my awesome and amazing Cancerians. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Messages from your specific person. What is it that they wish to say to you? We're going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Cancerian viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Through the power of the numbers, and so it is. Okay, power of number seven, number eight, and number two. Okay. Going to the number 17. Some of you Cancerians could be dealing with another Cancer or a Leo born in the month of July. And yes, a lot of you Cancerians were born at the latter part of June. That is true. You could also be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August. You might be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. Another group of you may be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. Strong Aquarius energy coming back in again through the number six, I'm sorry, number 17. More Cancerian energy through the number 18 and more Pisces energy coming in through the number 12. However, you might be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn born in the month of December. You could be 21, 27, or 28 years of age. You might have been born in 1971, 1972, 1977, or 1978. And for another group of you, you could have been born in 1981 or 1982, or maybe even possibly 1987. So that's what's coming up in the numbers for the moment, but... Going to the number 17. So if you have been in no contact, if this has been breadcrumb communication, what could be going on with your specific person? How are they thinking about you, feeling about you, or what might be going on in their environment? And 17. Trusted ancestors of my Cancerian viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please, from Cancer's person unto them? Show me what's up. Okay, you might be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This person may be highly fixated on their finances and their career at this moment in time. However, the king and or queen of pentacles can also represent somebody who might be in a higher level of commitment. So you could be dealing with a married person right now for some of you. However, this person also has commitment on the brain when it comes to you or they know cancer that you've been wanting to have this higher level of commitment. This usually represents a family person. They may also have children or you have a child with this person, but Male or female, they're coming in as the king of pentacles. Now, they could also be highly materialistic as well, possibly a business owner. Mm, and this person has a lot of guilt, remorse, and regret for not giving you that higher level of commitment. You might also be dealing with water sign, cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. They could also be grieving the loss of a loved one at this moment in time. Or if they are in some kind of higher level of commitment with, you know, if it's a soon-to-be ex-girlfriend, soon-to-be ex-boyfriend, soon-to-be ex-wife, soon-to-be ex-husband, there's a lot of grief or sorrow that's going on or their choices in that commitment of that third party is not exactly going well. So what could they possibly, you know, be feeling guilty over? Clarifying the King of Pentacles. Wow. 
They're not exactly on stable ground right now, Cancer. There's a lot going on. They could also be getting their karma. And the connection between you and this person could have been built on a weak foundation. So I do feel like this person made a lot of promises to you. So it was basically all talk, no action. However, on the other flip side of the coin, this could be unexpected communication that could come in. Them expressing to you how sorry that they are. You may not see this coming or they might say, hey, I want to build a foundation with you or I want to marry you. So there could be an unexpected marriage proposal. You might also be dealing with a Scorpio or an Aries more specifically. Clarifying the tower. Wow, they got a lot of karma on them. Time to pay the piper. It's almost as if spirit's been trying to send them like the signs and the synchronicities or the red flags to be like, hey, you got to release or let go of something. They've been holding on to something that is no longer good for them or their highest purpose. Hence, another reason why for the tower. Again, you might be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. What is this guilt Capricorn energy coming in? You know, some of them were taking advantage of you, Cancer. This could have also been a friends with benefits situation. Uh, they could have definitely been using you for one thing. A lot of control issues I'm also picking up or being, again, very highly materialistic. Um, this person's going through something or they're feeling controlled and manipulated maybe by friends, family members, uh, poor advice. Uh, that could be, you know, whispered in their ear right now. And also, too, with the devil card here, you know, and them having a tower moment. This is like double karma, like actually triple karma. This is a, karm a little bit of karmic energy, karmic, karmic. They're in a karmic toxic situation. Mm-hmm. The devil dominating over the Ace of Cups. Wow. You know, a couple variable meanings. Again, they're in a toxic love connection, possibly with a third party. Again, them having a lot of control issues when it came to you, when things were going to be done, etc. However, there could also be this other energy where they're obsessing. They're obsessing over you. A lot of earth and water. Earth and water energy coming into this reading today. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio coming back in. What is this toxic love connection? The sun card coming up in the reverse. Leo energy. Sun card in the reverse. Poor choices. They need to release a toxic relationship. This person is getting their karma. I can feel it. It's not working at certain things are not working out for them. And a lot of them are blindsided to the truth that they're getting their karma. Especially if you're hearing things through the grapevine, through other people, or maybe you're even witnessing certain things on social media. Clarifying the sun in reverse. Yeah, all of that in and out inconsistency. You may feel that you were also dealing with a player. This person could also be at a distance, controlling, manipulating things. Could have been asking you for money. You could feel like you were scammed. This person has got lessons. They've, they've got some bad juju on them right now because of their choices. And if they left you for a third party cancer, I feel like you were also trying to forewarn them who this person was or what they're going to be. They didn't want to listen to you. They brushed you off to the side. Clarifying the Knight of Wands. Look at that. The Ace of, the Ace of Pentacles. They gave commitment to the wrong person. But if they're going through a divorce right now, there are issues with assets. 
So there's some delays picking up on strong Pisces energy going on right now. Clarifying the Ace of Pentacles, the moon. You know, they could have hid the truth that they had a whole entire family behind the scenes and you didn't even know it. But we got Cancerian energy coming in. So they were hiding some, they were holding a lot of truth from you. That they were messing around with somebody else. Clarifying the moon. Mm -hmm. They were making love offers or gestures, giving commitment. Again, more earth energy. Wow. Earth and water signs are dominating the reading right now at this moment. Little touch of Aries, little touch of Leo and Sag. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There's a what goes around comes around. You know, they really did leave you disappointed. Very much in their ego. Clarifying the Knight of Pentacles. Look at that. Seven of Swords. Sneaky behavior. They were lying about where they were at, what they were doing, who they were hanging out with. I'm also picking up that they could have also gotten somebody else pregnant behind the scenes. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of guilt, heavy energy, and they got karma, massive karma on them. Wow. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy coming in through the Seven of Swords. This person honestly needs a whole spiritual cleanse. That's what they need. They're not, they're not in good energy. It's a roller coaster ride. Huge roller coaster ride. Their poor choices, living in the moment, any form of addictions, picking up on addictive behaviors. So again, some of you feel used, used for your money, your good energy, your body, your mind, your heart, your soul, your spirit, everything. Wow. Well. person has just got so much energy on them. It's all negative right now. You know, the truth is, is like, are they really feeling, you know, regretful? You know, how there's so much deception. Clarifying this King of Pentacles. I feel, here we go. I just asked, are they really feeling regretful, etc.? I feel so guilty about my action and what I said to you. They may now be finally realizing that they made poor choices. They don't even, it's almost like a, it, it's like quicksand. They don't know if they can get out of the quicksand. Clarifying the Five of Cups. I do love you, just don't know how to show you right now. They're insecure. They have a hard time being vulnerable. I mean, and you showed this person a lot of trust. You know, that you, that you are somebody that they can trust, Cancer. Clarifying the tower and putting myself first right now. So it's almost like they're saying, well, 
you know, I need my space. And it's not like you were trying to harp on them. Clarifying the four of pentacles. I can't take being away from you any longer. Well, you know, spirit's trying to give them the signs and synchronicities that they have toxic behaviors that they need to release and let go because this is a destructive pattern I'm seeing here with this person. Clarifying the devil. I said, here we go. I sabotaged this connection and I regret it. Yeah, by getting involved with third parties, the wrong kind of people, hanging out, their drinking buddies, things like that. Clarifying the Ace of Cups. There is no one else thinking about you all day. Mm. Clarifying the Sun. No matter who I am with, my thoughts always lead me back to you. Well, they're saying there's no one else, but whoever they're with. So I don't feel that they've entirely made a, a full decision. Like, are they going to be single and, and start walking the line and coming correct? This person has too much fun. You know, there, there's somebody with this Knight of Wands. Like, this person's living in the moment, Cancer. Clarifying the Knight of Wands. Don't forget about me. I haven't forgotten about you. They haven't forgotten how you make them feel, but they weren't willing to face those emotions. Because we've got the moon card that talks about suppression, hidden agenda, clarifying the ace of pentacles. See, they second guess themselves. Maybe we are better off separated. Maybe we're better off separated. They need to separate from them third parties. That's what they need to do. Clarifying the moon. Trying to move on. Maybe some of you guys have decided to wash your hands of the situation. Maybe you told them, I'm moving on from this. I can't stand this hoopla. What's going on? Clarifying the Knight of Pentacles. I think that you're better off without me. Because they may look at themselves as somebody they know. I feel like this person, if they're, if they're recognizing that they sabotage the connection, they know their actions, they were in the moment, they know how they were treating you and who else they were dealing with. This person is not balanced. They're, you guys, they're, they're on a weak foundation. All due to them, their poor choices. This is the reason why things are never going to work out for them. And, 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 you know, don't look at it as spirit pulling this person out of your life. Look at it in the other direction. You're the gift. You're the prize. Spirit... And your ancestors pulling you out of the equation because they could see farther down the road that this person's intentions weren't entirely honorable, Cancer. Clarifying the Seven of Swords, the sneaky behavior. I am so sorry for messing everything up. You deserve so much more. Oh, and that is the truth. You don't deserve the circus act. Can you do better? Yes. Are you, some of you guys manifesting for this person? I feel so. Some of you are. They have an attachment energy to you. If there was physical intimacy established between two, you guys binded each other to one another. So it's an energy thing. That's the reason why sometimes they just trickle back in whenever they feel that they want to, you know. So... This person needs to get their life together. They need, might even need to get their finances in gear. But they need to flat out, the way this reading is coming up, and I'm not saying it's going to resonate for everybody, but the, what I'm seeing here in the cards is like, this person has got to stop lying. They need to stop lying. Their lies are throwing them into the quicksand. Big time. So they love you and they're going to come back around the bend again, but th there's going to have to be massive boundaries set. I feel like this person, like I said, I'm picking up like some addictive, addictive behaviors. You guys have a past life relationship. You guys are binded and connected with one another. There's so many things that you guys had chemistry on. 
strong bond, strong connection. It says you have known each other before. Something here is trying to change very soon. It says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. It's really about your thought process with this person. Spirit's calling for you to have faith and trust not only in the divine, but within yourself. It says the situation's calling for you to have faith. Again, there could be children involved. Somebody could have gotten pregnant. Or, I also look at this too, immature behavior, immature communication. It says your love life is being affected by children. Spirit saying it's okay to retreat. However, the other part of it, you see a couple here in wedding attire. So there, there might be a little bit of foreshadowing, but this person needs a whole new life makeover. It says it's time to disconnect from the world. So I feel like what Spirit's saying is don't be spying and stalking on their social media and all of that stuff because it's not going to help you. It's not going to help you to heal. getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens a lot of you feel that like this person didn't even give you a fair chance but they were too much involved with playing around but there is something here about finances and career it says financial issues are a factor in your love life child support payments could be owed they could you know owe back child support payments Needing to get their life together. Wow. Just a very heavy, heavy energy reading right now for today. But we'll leave it like there as it is for the moment till I get to the next time around. But in the meantime, my awesome and amazing Cancerians, if you love this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.